front mostly dry today, but there's more rain around the corner. Yeah, tomorrow's not looking great. Mm. It's just varying degrees depending on where in the state you're located, but none of it is amazing, that's for sure. Today, though, rest of the afternoon, low, still looking good. We're 78 in Portland, we're 80 in Sanford, 82 in Concord, and 72 in Bangor, uh, 76, I should say, in Bangor. So really comfortable stuff. Got a few more hours left to enjoy it, not as many as we did just a little bit ago. We don't have to dwell on the almanac, though. Here's a look at the visible satellite. We peaked out those clouds around 2 o'clock or so, and then we started to settle them down as the sunlight gets a little less intense later in the afternoon. See the same pattern with the showers. Notice the showers peaked around 2 or 2.30 or so. Now there's very few of them around. So if you manage to stay dry through now, you should be good through the rest of the afternoon into the early evening as well. Partly cloudy tonight. Temperatures 70s initially, 60s eventually. It's still a little bit humid out there. And then we cloud up from southwest to northeast. And the deal tomorrow is basically that there's a low pressure system off screen down here towards Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And this would be a really tough forecast in the winter because we're getting kind of clipped by that system. And so the heavier precipitation should be over the southern part of the state. I've been drawing the line at about Bangor, Waterville. I think north of there, there's not a whole lot of rain, but south of there, there is, and especially down over southern coastal Maine. It's raining pretty hard tomorrow morning through the middle of the day or so. And then we go over to just cloudy conditions with scattered showers in the afternoon. This model is clearing us out. I don't know about that. It tends to have that bias. It tends to like to clear us out with the cloud cover a little bit faster than average. But certainly north of Bangor, you see a better day. South of there, expect rain through the first half of the day at least. And then on Wednesday, we've got a secondary low that comes through. Keeps us largely cloudy with scattered showers around. Not as intense uh, a rain as what we're going to see tomorrow morning, but still quite a few showers and unsettled both Tuesday and Wednesday. And notice these temperatures. 60s through a lot of it, some brief low 70s, but it's, it's not all that warm. So there's that low coming through. There's the secondary one. The next chance of significant rain comes through on Friday, like it does always with the front coming through showers and storms Friday afternoon into Friday night. Models disagree a little bit on how quickly it'll get out of here on Saturday morning. I'm tending to be fairly optimistic here, and I think Saturday will turn out to be a nice day, as will Sunday. This, guys, is just a product of the euro has been too um, slow and wound up all summer. So every Friday front, it said, well, maybe it's going to rain on Saturday. And it really hasn't. So the trend is your friend there clearing out on Saturday. Sunday looks good. Isolated thunderstorm into the low 80s. One thing that is noticeably absent, at least to me, legitimate heat. We're in the 70s, a yeah. couple low 80s. Nothing real hot, though, through the middle of August. Yeah, it's on. All right, Keith, thank Thanks. you.